And as we're walking downstairs, this nigga shoots the fucking shotgun. Like, I swear to God, this nigga shot the shotgun. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey. All right, what's going on, YouTube, man? We back with another banger, man. Today's gonna be another story time. Yeah, we got another story time. It's the third story time on the channel right here. This one gonna be a little different. As y'all can see, I got the little camera angle. It's a little higher up. I'm trying something different and shit. But yeah, man, uh, this gonna be a story time on my first time getting, well, not my, I can't say my first time. But it's just basically a story time on how I got expelled from school. Basically, yeah, I got expelled because of a fight, but it's more behind that than, than what you think. So yeah, we finna uh, we finna get into the video, man. Make sure y'all subscribe, man. Hit the notifications so you know when I upload, man. Hit the thumbs up, you feel me? If you rocking with this video, man, if you enjoyed this little story time, I gotta love this. Is the story time a little different? Cause I got, I actually got a clip of. What happened in story time? I'm gonna edit that in and put that in the video so y'all can see. But I gotta blur certain parts out in the video because YouTube they ain't gonna let me post the whole fight. Like, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into the story time. Oh yeah, comment down below some video ideas. Yeah. yeah. So it was like, so it all started, man. It was a weekend. Picked up, we got picked up by the homies. Me and my cousin got picked up by the homies. You feel me? We just going, we just driving around, chilling. It's like 12 o'clock, man. It's like 12 o'clock at night, man. We just driving around. You feel me? We driving around. One of the one of the people we was riding with, they was like, and we had an issue with the people that we ended up getting into it with. So we got into it. So we ended up pulling up on them, man. And it just went left. So we pulled, so after we pulled up, we was outside for like a good three minutes, three, five minutes. And one of them was like, let's go knock on the door. Nah, nah, nah. We like eight deep in somebody truck. No, actually we had a truck and a car. It was like 10 of us, it was five in the truck. I was sitting on the back, me and my cousin was sitting on the back. And then it was two people, I mean, I said two people. And it was another car with five people in the other car, man. So we was deep, we pulled up deep. But we wasn't expecting it to go how it went. If it didn't go how it went, this would've never happened. And I would've never got expelled. We hop out, we go, and they stay in like these apartment complexes, and they stay all the way on the third floor. So we go up there, man. And as soon as it's like this, the way the stairs go, they like winding up. As soon as we hit the corner to the third, the third story on where he was at, man, that nigga had a shotgun out the window, bro. He had a shotgun pointed out the window. It was it wasn't a double barrel. It was just a single barrel shotgun. Though. That hole was like this big. The barrel was like this big on there. He was pounding us. He wasn't really like he was gonna shoot it or nothing. He was just acting like he was gonna shoot it, but I don't think he was really gonna shoot it. So we ended up going back down there because they wasn't really trying to do nothing. Just in case he was gonna try to shoot it, I wasn't gonna be right there. I wasn't gonna get my shit blown back. I know better than that. Like, come on now, this is common sense. So we walk downstairs, man. And as we're walking downstairs, this nigga shoots the fucking shotgun. I swear to God, this nigga shot the shotgun. And I was like, bro, this nigga really just shot that? I'm looking at my cousin like, this dude really just shot it? And he shot it. Then he went to the, so he didn't shoot it from the window where he was standing at at first, like their front door. He went on to the patio. And he seen us, he, I guess he seen us walking down there and he like shot his towards us. But it was way too high up, so there wasn't no way that shotgun, the shells was gonna reach us. We get back to where the truck we was in, and he ended up blowing that. He ended up shooting it like three more times. He got the back. Boom! Boom! He shot it three more times, man. I'm like, this dude wild. Like, we like we need to go before they uh before they um they end up calling the police in the apartment complex. 
And I'm I'm trying to hide behind the truck. I'm just making sure just in case, cause I don't want no fragments of the shells to hit me or none of that. Cause I love my life. I don't know about you, but I love my life. I'm trying to live, you feel me? So I'm ducking behind the truck. And I hop in the back and we pull off, we skirt off. And that in the next day I I come to find out that one of the people that was associated with the dude that was shooting that shotgun at us. We was supposedly cool with, like he was in our circle or whatever. But after I find that out, I was like, okay, the dude, the dude that shot the shotgun, he went to our school, man. We never seen him, like we never seen him at school. He stopped coming to school because I guess he was scared. Cause like, he already knew what type of time we was on. We was already talking like we was from, as soon as we catch him, we already know what time it is. So I was like, okay, we can't get to him. You already know what we finna do. We finna go get the little brother. We finna show this nigga that we not playing. You feel me? So we end up, so two weeks pass. This nigga don't come to school. He already know, I guess his brother told him something or something. I'm thinking he was in the house the whole time while he was shooting a shotgun. Cause he, he had to know. It wasn't no way he just not coming to school the whole time. So he ended up coming, he ended up not coming to school for like two weeks straight, bruh. This nigga is skipping school for two weeks. So he ended up coming after those two weeks, he finally came back to school. And it was a morning time. We was, we was like, man, I'm, I'm just waiting for this nigga to come back. It's finally just one day. We gonna get his ass. We gonna catch, as soon as I see him, it's almost like that's what I keep telling my cousin. And we seen him, man, it was early in the morning. Before class, man, and we seen him, he was waiting to, he was waiting to go inside his class. His teacher was finna open up his door and we caught him right there. My cousin threw off his backpack, I threw off my backpack and we just, my cousin go in first, boom, boom, boom. And I go in right after him, man. And I'm finna show y'all the video right now so y'all can understand. I'm gonna break it down while I'm showing y'all the video. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, man, I got the video right here. As y'all can see, man, we got the video right here. You feel me? Okay. Let me try this. Okay, right here, y'all can see my backpack. That's my backpack right there on the floor. That's, I threw off my backpack. I'm running right behind my cousin. I know it's kind of blurry and shit, but I'm gonna try to work past that. So, All right, I'm gonna let y'all see it. I'm gonna just let y'all see it for the first. I'm gonna let y'all see it all the way through, and I'm gonna chop it up and like break it down. Remember I told y'all in the beginning of me showing the video that I took he took off his backpack and I ended up taking off my backpack. You can't see his backpack on the floor because these people right here walking. But you can clearly see that's my backpack. That's my backpack on the ground. And then the dude in the gray shorts right there, that's the homie too. Uh, so my cousin running, you can't really see because it's not I don't know, the person who was recording the fight didn't get a good angle, but, you know what I mean? As you keep, yeah, you feel me? So, right there, my cousin had stopped, he, so, look, look. Right there, my cousin, he was going in. He, this is where my cousin started getting his licks in him first. And then, I come in right behind him. I'm right there in the all black, you feel me? With the black hoodie on. And we, we move we move away from the little door a little bit, you feel me? And it's it's like, um, we move away from the door and this is the point where I start. 
I started doing what I gotta do, you feel me? So my cousin really back off for real. He just let me go at it, go at it with dude. So I hit him. Oh, y'all can't really see it, but I hit him and he tried to like run away. Like I hit him, he fell back and he tried to like run away from me type shit. So I so look. Bam. I hit him and he tried to like run he tried to like try to like run away you feel me and he fell on the ground like what are you doing you should be trying to fight back this nigga fell on the ground and that's when i i kicked him and the homie that's the homie right there that's both of the homies the red hoodie and the, the gray shorts you feel me that's both the homies and my homie elijah too right there in the back with the black backpack you feel me and I just get the beat me shit in, beat me shit in, beat me shit in. I'm just going crazy. My cousin had to really pull me off of him because I was not playing. I'm, I'm going all the way with it. You see? He getting up. Look at him. He can't even walk. Bro, that's tripping. He can't even see straight. I'm fucking that vision up. But yeah, man. That's that. That's the little fight, man. If y'all enjoy, oh yeah, we ended up after after that whole situation. Security came and got us, and dude was trying to he was trying to go round two with me. I was like, bro, do you really want to do that? I don't think bro really wanted to do that. So we ended up we ended up uh, going to the office. And I'm sitting in the off one of the uh, conference rooms in the office for like two, three hours, bro. Like for the rest, nah, not the rest of the day, but like two, three hours, bro. And I'm in there just sitting, just sitting, just waiting. And they finally let me out, and we got expelled. That's how we got expelled. And they try to press charges and shit, but that was to no avail. You feel me? But uh, yeah, man, if y'all like this story time, man, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, you feel me? If you new to the channel, man, it's your boy, I'm not too high, and I'm out this bitch. Oh, gang, we on the stove. Yeah, yeah, shit, I go wicked, we in the whip in this tenant.